Hi, in this video we are going to do a tutorial for the ASP.NET MVC basics. So let's start by creating a new project. Uh, we're gonna select ASP.NET MVC for application. Click OK. I'm gonna choose an empty template, Razor V Engine. OK. OK, now we're gonna add the controller. We're gonna go to Solution Explorer, right click the controllers folder. Do add controller and let's call it home. Add. So Visual Studio has created for us this home controller and an action called index. Uh, it doesn't have the corresponding view yet, but we can add it by doing right click, add view, and give it a name index, raise a engine, and click add. Okay, now if we look in Solution Explorer, we can see it inside the Views folder, Home Index. This is its location. Okay, now let's try it out. I'm gonna type here Hello World, save it, and uh, let's try to run it. We can also like here we can go to go to View, and we're here. So each action ha can have a corresponding view if it returns a view. Uh, let's try and run it. There you go, our hello world. Now we're gonna try to pass some data from the controller to the view. There are multiple ways to do that, and one of them is by using the view data. So you basically say something like a1 equals hider. This is one way. Uh, another way is the same as view data, but it's a dynamic object. You can say view back that foo equals something. And the third way is by using uh, a model for the view to have a strongly typed view, and uh, you'd pass here something like new uh, object of that type, and you pass that that model. Let's actually try and do that. Let's create quickly a new class and uh, let's give it a property name. And now, here inside the view, let's new foo name equals foo one. Okay, and now inside the view. We're gonna bind it. We don't need this because we don't have layouts anyway. Uh, we're gonna make it strongly typed to the full model, which is uh, located in. Okay, Resharper is suggesting me here. So our view now is strongly typed to the full. So okay, let's do a break. And let's display our data. Uh, we're gonna do model dot name. As you can see we have just name now. But if we add here another property uh, like int quantity, then we're gonna have here the quantity as well. Like this name, okay. Uh, view data, view data, and view back. Let's use them as well. View data, comma, view. I actually need to use this sign, okay. Like this, view back. You back that uh, foo. Okay. So uh, let's give some quantity 123. Okay, so we are passing data from the controller to the view using view data, view bag, and just by passing a model to a strongly typed view. Let's try and run this. So 
there we go right. we have our hello world name foo quantity view data and view bug that foo now we're going to add another action uh, comments and return view so let's create the view comments add I'm gonna add here a header comments now we are going to add a link to the comments action on the index view so let's um, type HTML action link the text will be go to comments and uh, action comments save this and let's try it go to comments we're on the comments page right now we're going to send to the view a list of comments so uh, instead of using a database or something we're actually just going to use a pri private static uh, static uh, list of comments so uh, let's first create class comment public text and uh, let's create the list so this is our list and we're going to return it here comments now let's go to the view and make use of these comments first let's make this strongly typed to comment to i innumerable of comment and uh, let's render them as a list the for each model we're gonna render a list item with comment dot text save and let's see how it works comments so we have our comments displayed now we're gonna add the link to add new comments first we are going to add an action that is going to render the add comment view so return a view here and this view is going to be strongly typed to a view model I'm gonna call this view model comment input and let's add this view add let's make it strongly typed and here we're gonna create an HTML form you can use the razor using HTML begin form here we can do html label for text then html input text box actually we're gonna use text area for uh, text and we can also use a validation message validation message for text now in order to add validation rules we can add attributes and the properties of the view model and here we're gonna add the required required attribute this will make this property required we also added this using when adding that attribute and now let's add the input type submit inside the form submit 
add new comment okay save this now we're when we're gonna hit the submit button we're gonna post to the add comment action with, with type with of type post which we don't have yet so let's let's add it for this we need the HTTP post attribute and we're gonna receive the model of the view which is comment input now since we have this attribute here you may we may receive an invalid model state this is gonna happen when the text property is not gonna have a value so we will check for is valid and if it's not valid we just return the view with the current model so if the user has typed something into this text he will receive back this text in this property otherwise actually if it's not model otherwise if it's valid we're gonna add a new comment so we have this uh, comments right so we're gonna add a, if it's valid comments that add new comment with text equals input that text and after we added we did our add comment we will redirect we're gonna return a redirect to action um, to action comments we're doing this is a common pattern so always after a post you do a redirect in case of success so if the user will uh, refresh the browser he will keep on refreshing in this uh, comments action well, if we would return here a view, like here, for example, in case of an invalid uh, model state, we return a view, and if the user refreshes the browser, he will repeat this action again. Well, if this action returns a redirect to action, this post won't be repeated, but the action that was redirected to will be repeated. Okay, so now let's try it. Comments. Ah, actually, we forgot to add a link to this. Actually, we can try it anyway. Let's just type here add comment. Let's try the invalid model state. The text field is required. So we got a validation message from that helper. Hi there. How are you? Add new comment. See? We got a new message. Let's add that link in index uh, in comments. HTML action link add new comment add comment. So refresh. So let's try this again. New comment. Okay. Uh, now let's add the functionality to be able to delete these comments. Now one problem that we have now is that we cannot uniquely identify the comments. So we're gonna add a, a new property called ID. Uh, I'll make it good now here let's add them and here and uh, where else here Okay. 
now we have IDs. Let's actually display them just in case. I'm gonna do command ID pipe. Bam. Let's see. Then Okay, we have IDs and uh, let's uh, add a delete button. Delete button is going to be actually a form because, because we want to do a post. So yeah, we can actually use the form tag to do HTML posts. Action is going to be URL action delete. We don't actually have this action yet, and we're gonna send the ID comment that ID. This is another way of doing forms and method post. And so this form is gonna do a post when submitted. It's gonna do a post to the delete action with the parameter ID, which is going to be equal to the comment ID. And now let's add the submit button. Type submit value delete. Okay. And uh, let's create this action. Because we don't have it yet. So HTTP post result delete id comments remove uh, comments single where id equals id and we redirect to action index not index comments. And let's try it. Delete, delete, add new comment, add new comment. So deletion works. By the way, we don't actually have to show these IDs here. I just did it just, just to show. Uh, like this. Okay. Hi there, hello. This was it. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.